Good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday I got I got a request to um gut that lock that I picked yesterday. So they they want to see what what type of mess is inside of this thing. So we're gonna we're gonna gut it because this is a buy request channel. If people ask me to do something, I'm gonna try to do it. Let me see here. What we got in there? We have a Phillips. Where is my Phillips at? Okay, all right, let's take this bad boy apart. There, there, I don't want to lose these parts, so. see there's wow I guess the um, I guess the locksmith put some grease down there cuz I got this here lock from, from the flea market and when I got it it had no core or no plate or nothing on it I think I paid like a dollar for it or something at the flea market you know so let's see here we don't have the I guess it's going to play games with us today. You can see the keyway is just, like I was saying yesterday, the keyway is just really not, not really pick friendly. All right. <clears throat> Let's take it apart here. I better, I better get a paper towel because if I don't, these parts are going to be everywhere, especially on this slippery old vinyl table here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's take this little keeper thing off of here. That's just a regular old steel keeper. Uh, where is the key at? Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's see what we got here in hole number. Uh oh. We've already run into problems. He didn't tell me this thing was. Wow, that spring. There's a spool and number six. And that spring, Jesus, that spring is from hell. And huh, number five is a spool. What happened to that spring, I wonder? That spring is just like a little weak spring there. Whoop. Number four is a spool. And I gotta say, man, these spools are very sharp. They gotta be brand new spools because they're just too damn sharp. And there is a serrated pin. All right. It's going to play games with me. There's a serrated pin. Not very deep serrations, but close enough. And that spring there was pretty, 
pretty tight too. I mean, really hardcore springs. And number two is a spool. All right. Come on. Focus, baby. Just playing games. Number two is a spool with a super, I mean, these springs are super powerful. Super powerful springs. And number one is kind of a, whoops, number one is kind of a strange looking spool. This one here kind of, That's a weird looking spool right there. It's it's like it has two steps to it. Like two little steps to it. One the top part is deeper. Let me see here. The top part is deeper and the bottom part is kind of shallower, but it, it is a spool on both sides. It's pretty sharp too. Pretty sharp. And of course the spring is monstrous, man. I mean, it doesn't even hardly press. We're going to try to do a close-up if my camera will focus, you know, how, how that goes. So, we have, we have five regular deep sharp spools. We have one spool that's kind of like an hourglass looking type of spool. And we have one serrated, kind of light serrated pin. Now the key pins, it's just a standard little bitty key pin. Number five, it's just a standard key pin. Number four, it's just a standard pin, but you see the the graphite, I mean, this thing was graphited pretty heavily. And now we get into the serrations. Number three, key pin is serrated. Number two, It ain't serrated, but it has like bumps on it everywhere. Pretty strange little bumps on it. It might just be like an old pin or something. And number one, yeah, it's just a regular standard key pin. So, and I don't see. Everything in there looks pretty clean. This camera, I tell you what, bro. It looks pretty clean to me. However, let's cheat a little bit. Let's see if I can get this thing working. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Come on. Anyway, we're going on nine minutes. And I don't see anything special in the in the plug or the core body itself. But there's the pins. If this thing will focus, you know. Ugh, son of a gun. Anyway, that's basically it. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you all later.